It doesn't leave scars. It paints over the bruise marks, soothes the pain, fills the emptiness inside your heart. Chocolate does not judge when you screw up. Yeah, I am an addict. I must have it every day. Flesh burning from inside out, firecrackers exploding in my belly, brains on fire, dancing and screaming, oh hell. Does everybody have a butterfinger? <laughs>
She moves to the rhythm of the rain with hips so luscious they were meant to dance in Umbaga. Rest soft and plump, pillows to be fondled. She longs for a sun-drenched embrace, the heat of fingertips tracing wetness of skin, sweet and salty, a ravenous appetite. She is always hungry for more. And if you are good, if you are very good, she may even let you have it. <laughs> um, when I first started writing about five years ago, I thought you would rhyme everything. Okay, teacher, that's how they start you yeah. off, right? You know, we all worry about what we look like. We kind of look beautiful for a man or for a woman. We're always trying to look at magazines and see how, what we what we need to do. But there is one magazine that I care about. You see, it's that time again, just check the scene. It's time to be in shape, it's time to be lean. Tabloids and magazines dictate the rules. Stick figures, large breasts are now the crown jewels. And Victoria is my favorite. She sets the pace. What will we all wear in this underwear race? Young bodies adorned with a powder of blush. Vicky's number one secret. Can you say I'm rushed? <laughs> Ancient beauties were hailed for their large chips and busts, but now thanks to Vicky, a spank is a must. There's pearls in their fry stones and spandex for lace. There's thongs made of satin they cover just a choice. To lift and to separate and deal with underwire, to have youthful breasts that always sit higher, to strings and a hanging makeup, a thong, it's like sitting on a tape tightrope. It's just my wrong. What happened to cotton so soft and serene now with feathers and chains? Can you say dry cleaned? Vicky offers us creams to keep us in stride. Cellulite will disappear and wrinkles will hide. So we starve and we fast to be something we're not. To be that size zero is to be something hot. These models, the image of what we adore, Vicky's number two secret. They're 14 and no more. So I'll push up and plunge hands and minimize the pain we endure for that perfect size, but I keep coming back with a hope and a prayer to dream of that flawless body so you will always stare. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I have. have you? Very small poems. Awesome, awesome. But I've done yeah, haikus. I have 30 haikus. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. Well, I'm going to do two now, but again, a brand spanking new. So um, I want to see what they sound like, and I think that's the cool thing about poetry is you can come, you can do your thing, and see how it sounds out loud. Both of these are entitled. We are separate selves now. Left alone to count the bathroom tiles has been a long time coming. Pretend I came here with intention. A paranormal romance spirit drained under weight of vintage wings. Pretend that I didn't believe. Echo of matchsticks striking hollow veins causes flame and ash. The burnt offerings will remind me of your cologne. Damn. <laughs> I've tried to understand the language of your heart. You offered me a taste bitter on my tongue. Maybe this time we'll get it right. Wishful thinking trapped between tightrope and sky, but everything shadows with, shatters with you. I'm left with a mouthful of stale resolution, stale, revolu stale resolutions, shards of bloody endings, leaving me to pick up the pieces. Maybe next time I'll bring band-aids. <laughs> well, there's some new stuff. Now I'm going to get into some heavier stuff. Um, you know, there's all kinds of love. There's the soft kind, there's the hard kind, there's the dirty kind, there's the nasty kind. There's the kind that brings pain. And whatever gets you off is fine. So, My dream of happily ever after, a fantasy born inside my mother's womb of white picket fences, 2.5 kids, and a dog. The promise of possibilities. You will come to me body floating on glass smooth surface with jagged edges, half man, half wolf. 
You will come to me beating with rum, sweet, smoky liquid to coat my tongue, a tongue sharp enough to split rock, soft enough to make skin moan. You will love me with cupcakes and roses and handcuffs. Taste my heart between thigh and breast. Brand me with your tongue. Mark arteries for dessert. You will plant fingertip roots, whisper bruises into creases, shatter sonnets into white noise. We will try each other on perfect imperfection. We will be unholy harmony, one pant leg at a time. Mm -hmm. This is stuff I've done a while. Her body is a gift from God, a garden to be tended to and nurtured the son, her ardent lover. She lays in wait for the dawn, still wet from the mist of moonlight's kiss. She craves heat, longing for sunbeams to strip away her innocence. The sun begins to smile, blood red, orange, and amber. Gold spun patterns dance across her thighs. She's a flower, awakening, hungry for fire. Yellow begins to wash over her petals, fingers trembling a labyrinth's maze, penetration deep inside, sweet nectar cascade down, a song from passion's throat, glowing, radiant, satisfied. She has white picket fences, 2.5 kids and a dog. A husband who loves her with cupcakes and roses and handcuffs. There are things she can never tell her mother. Love's ritual born each day from the belly of a phoenix. She craves rug birds cascading down the rivers of flesh. Purple fingertip bracelets caressing virgin throat to split rubies and splinters embedded into tongue, leaving scarcely a breath. Stop. Feels so good, it hurts. Don't stop, please more. Don't stop, it hurts. Feels so good, oh God. Don't stop, it hurts. Blood's compulsion burns at each intersection with rhythms of memorized verbs and stained smiles. Broken skin licked to flames. This is love to her. Tender and nasty. She knows how to draw the color beige, an art form perfected, this queen of discoloration with clown lips and pancake eyes to match the purple flowers imprinted on her breasts. A rope of rose thorns and hemp seed and bent from breastbone to Adam's rib, bow to him till death do us part. There are things she will never tell her mother. There are things a mother can never teach her daughter. What if she draws a purple box on her belly, a box with windows and doors and two sets of fine china? Can she escape through her navel? What if she falls, will she splatter? Can she lean on stilted wings of virtuous uncertainty? Will he be there to kiss the bruise spots? What if, what if, what if there is no one there to catch the remains? How many of you guys are in relationships? How, what, backtrack. How many people have ever tried online dating? Come on, you know you have. <laughs> I know you have. <laughs> we, we met online. We, we just celebrated our one year anniversary. <laughs> but this is not a happy poem about online dating. <laughs> it's called Point Click. I know you. I like it. I know, it's cool. It. Flirty Girl 152. <laughs> 15 years and two kids, she misses his taste. His fingertips still imprinted on her heart and pillowcases so much time in between. Who would want her now? Point click. Bears fan 101. He's just a nice guy, a plain Joe, with a beer belly to rest his mug on. If he makes contact, will she respond? Point click. Daffy's little girl. She loves the taste of woman, but blood is thicker than happy life. She will honor her parents, marry, and spawn. Would he see through her charade? Would he encourage her little secret? Ladies man 69, he has one mistress, ledgers and portfolios, his only love. What about sex? Can he just find sex? Point click. Deep meaning number 10. She trusts enough to text her number. Entertaining conversation is a promise. Want a cyber with me, baby? I know you want to point click. Rachel's dad, he has kids she doesn't. How can she understand? She will never be first. His kids, his love, his joy will always be first. She can never be point click. What if I'm not thin enough? What if I'm not wealthy enough? What if I'm not smart enough? What if I'm just too goddamn old? Point click. 
no matches found. <laughs> How many people are mothers here? Okay, this is one comes out to all you guys. It's called Motherhood. This is actually the first time I ever poem I ever had published. She misses the sex. 34B sleep perfection. What's the object of lust and desire? No, breast pumps and sterilized bottles. She longs for that black lace corset and matching thong. She misses the man, his fingertips. The wetness of breath against flesh is fragrance between her thighs. She was always supposed to be first. But now it's right in.